looks pretty good. good. Let's see if I can kite her out. There's a lot of wind, so I might be able to. Double check, 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 check. Radio on. Alex launching from Lady Bay. All right, no way that's gonna go up. So I need to lay her out a bit. Good, but it's very strong, so we'll wait for some nice calm wind. Well, hey, and up we go like a rocket ship. I think we're going to get some distance today. That was a nice launch. That was probably the upper limit of launch speed. If the wind was any higher than that, I don't think it would have done too well. There's people flying all the way down at Cape Jarvis from here, so it's going to be on all the way down the coast. And it's going to, the forecast is for the direction to remain constant. The wind speed to drop just slightly, so I might be okay for a really long flight. Still going up really nicely here. Oh, shooting up. 850 feet and climbing. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at this. Got a call coming in. Hello, Keith. Yeah, good, I'm flying over Lady Bay. Yeah. Oh, right, no worries. <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. No worries. All right. Drive safe. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> so that was Keith from Coastal Caravans. He's probably one of the best caravan mechanics I've come across. Absolutely fantastic and an absolutely top bloke. So if you have dramas with your caravan, uh, I highly recommend him. Okay, 890. So despite being distracted by the phone call, we gained height. So the first obstacle in the flight south is this spur line here with a couple of uh, valleys running up it. It uh, usually causes you to sink out, so you need plenty of height to get across it, depending on what the wind does. Sometimes it produces lift, sometimes it doesn't. Sort of maintaining altitude pretty much along here. Oh, gonna do a bit of sink now. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to turn off here because I've filmed this route a few times and I'll turn back on later. So along this cliff face there's often a lot of little thermals, there's a few spots uh, where you can work a bit of lift. It's not a lot but uh, it can be enough to make the difference between getting across and not. So every time I've got the chance I just stop uh, and work those little thermals just like there. Just gaining a little bit of extra height before I keep going. Going up all the way along here. Plenty of lift. Chase cam on. I've reached we're in a cove, trying to build up some height before I uh, go for the crossing. Unfortunately, uh, trying to work the lift here isn't working too well for me. I don't gain anything at all. Passing over the buildings near Wirrana Cove. 
Then I'm going to try and get across and work my way up that hill there. See if I can get across the second valley for the first time. The crossing to Wirrana Cove is quite long. So once I got past that, uh, that high little bowl, the ridge running down to Wirrana Cove is quite low. So what I want to do is try and conserve as much altitude as I can. I'm going to get lift off that ridge, but it's going to drop me down a fair bit lower. And I want as much as high, height as possible to get across. So just flying as efficiently as I can um, and uh, running down just over the lift band um, to make the crossing. Some people don't even worry about flying over this ridge. They actually just go directly across um, straight over the cove. But uh, I'm not playing it that way today. Hopefully I get across. So one day glide ratio, one to 17. That glide ratio is nice. So once I hit the other side of we're in a cove and uh, hit that ridge, it's going to be a fairly uh, different situation to what I've been in before. Every place I've flown so far, I can bottom land, so I can get down to the bottom. On the other side of Wirrana Cove, and basically all the way across um, for the rest of these cliffs, there's no bottom landing options. There's no beaches. There's only a couple of spots down the bottom where I could put down at the towns, but that's it. If I get below the, the ridge, I'm dead, essentially. I'll sink out uh, and end up in the sea, there's just sea, there's rocks, uh, it's a very dangerous situation. So uh, I have to be very, very, very careful flying beyond this point. Getting some lift. So I'll just be nice and ready to top land here. Not going to do any scratching, obviously. See if this bowl produces much. Yep. Plenty of lift here. Nice. So now I'm in a very dangerous spot. Never been here before. There's nowhere to bottom land here. So I can't allow myself to get low. If I start getting low, I'll just immediately land and, and hike it out. I don't want to take any risks here at all. stay over this ridge no matter what and I'll land on that nice piece of grass there if I run into trouble no I'm going up that's all good still all good I'm still going up nice this is scary but it's working I'm low here so if I don't get too much lift on the other side I reckon I'm in glide range now of uh, that side over there. Okay, back a bit. I'm dangerously low now, so I'm sticking behind the ridge because if I do a top landing, I need enough room to turn into the wind to do the landing. Um, so I've decided to stay well behind the ridge, even though I'm probably not going to get as good a lift. Uh, it's just the safety factor. I don't want to get killed. Well, look at that. This is all new territory. And good lift here. How you going? <sighs> wow. Second Valley, eh? Made it. Now, if I go into Second Valley, I don't know if I'll make it back because that's pretty low there. Nice spot here. Look at that view. Oh, this is a beautiful spot. That crossing to Second Valley looks like a long way. There's not going to be much lift from here down to there, just a tiny little ridge line. So I'm going to work this bowl as much as I can. This big bowl here is producing really, really good lift. So I'm going to work my way all the way up to the top of it and then go for the crossing. Just get as much height here as I can. And I'll have a bit of a heady. I think it's going to be really hard getting across there. I don't really seem to be going up a lot now, so. on and take a risk. I know that's quite rocky and 
gnarly that footpath. There's not much in the way of landing options down there, that's the only thing. But I've come this far. Okay, so that bowl in front of the jetty looks like it could produce a bit of lift. Could always try and do the malush and land on that tiny beach, which would not be easy, but I could do it if I got desperate. One to five. I think it's time to hit some speed bar. This wind glides a lot better than what I what it feels like it would. Got loads of height here. Speed bar off. I'm going up. Going up quite a lot here. Let's have a look and enjoy this enormous, incredible view, eh? Wow, what a sport this is. So I am feeling pretty scared here, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be okay. Might keep going along just stay over stay in nice and close obviously if i can't get below that ridge i'm pretty much a dead guy still lift along here good lift here what a view what a view Okay, that next shape up there looks like it slopes down, so I'd have to land well back on it if I want to stay up. What's going on here? Still got lift. Work this a bit and try and gain some more height since I'm going up. Getting much here. Now I'd probably actually even make it to Second Valley itself from here if I had to. This is scary and it's fun at the same time. Going up pretty nice. No problem, I'd glide it to Second Valley now so I can keep going. I've sailed this coast before. Mm, should be nice and lifty along that ridge. We can go inland a bit. Look at that. One of my favourite campsites, this one. Just a wonderful lifty day today. Plenty of lift. I'm not going to go any further than this. I think I've done really well, actually. This is the town of Rapid Bay. And from what I understand, only one paraglider pilot has ever crossed from the north side where I am now over to the south side successfully and they did it by catching a thermal um, during the crossing. <laughs> oh, how good is this? How good is this, huh? Feel a lot safer here. It's just too far to get across and uh, however it is easier to cross from the other side so if you come down, if you head from the southern side, Cape Jarvis, and then cross over to here where I am now. That's a that's a doable crossing. But uh, I'm glad I decided not to go any further because I almost certainly would have bombed and ended up having to hitch a ride home or get a lift. All right, well it's not showing any sign of dying off, so I might see if I can get back. Or how far I can get back anyway. This is 
beautiful and <laughs> this is frightening. I don't like the look of this little section here just because it'll be hard to land on that reverse slope. As I'm flying along I'm always thinking about where I'm going to put down. It's a fantastic wing this one. Lots of nice open space to put down if I run into trouble, got plenty of height. Staying directly back over the ridge like this might not be the optimum lift, but it makes me feel safer. <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd be doing this when I got up this morning. Getting a fair bit of lift here, so I might work it a bit. So I reckon I'm going to have no problems crossing over here. Switch over to my glide ratio. I might need to bar. We'll still get a bit of lift along here. So currently a 1 to 18 glide ratio. 1 to 9. 1 to 18. Uh, 1 to 5. I'm out of the lift now. 1 to 9. Back to standard. Keeping an eye on that glide ratio, it tells me how much height I'm losing and whether or not I need to be using my bar. 1 to 18. Still getting a bit of lift pushing up off these, these little ridges here, so hopefully I'll be able to get across. I'm not going up, but it's a pretty reasonable glide ratio. Hopefully I'll get some lift in here. Okay, right back. Back into soaring mode. We're not going to have too much trouble getting back to we're in a cove. Looks like there's some place I could put down there, but there's no way I'd get out once I was there. Nice and lifty. Getting a bit of height. Some good lift around here. Let's work it a bit. Wow. What a day, eh? What a day! Let's keep working it a bit more. I think I'm going to make it back. So I'm scared because I feel the urge to grab the risers. Okay, I seem to be sort of at the upper end of this, so let's push forward. Got no, lots of nice height here. Pretty much sitting level. Feeling a lot more confident now. This extra height behind me, I, uh, I feel a lot more secure. I've got stuff to play with, a bit of margin. And I'll probably make it over. We're in a cove just with what I got now. So I'm not going to hang around here, I'm just going to cut straight over. All right, we're going to fly over the boat. That's exciting. Okay, we're in a glide now, so I'll switch over to glide ratio. 1 to 37, 1 to 9, 1 to 9 is good. I'm happy with 1 to 9. 1 to 7 is not so high, 1 to 9. Easy, 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 easy. And I'll get ridge lift off this here. Plenty of height, plenty of height. Okay, didn't need bar for that. Wind was a bit behind me. Okay, and we're soaring again. Fantastic. Now I'm in familiar ter territory, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable now. Work my way back. What a flight. What a flight. I am stoked. I am stoked that I succeeded in doing that. It's a big achievement for me. Getting a bit lower here, but I don't think I'm going to bomb out or anything. It's just uh, stick over the ridge. I should be fine. Right, 
I've got a bit of a thermal here. Let's work that. Woohoo! Nice. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Okay, lots of nice height here. Could probably keep working it. Sure will. Won't be stupid. If you've got lift, work it. Don't be slack. The Fluro Peninsula is such a good place to fly. I love it. Good place for a uh, for doing coastal. Good place for someone with low experience. Um, lots of challenges here. Lots of wind directions you can fly. Yeah, the Fluro Peninsula is a really good flying site. Got a really good SSO here though that uh, knows his stuff. The guys around here are really good blokes. Oh my god. Two eagles flying along in front of me. They never really come out on the GoPro, but uh, they're not that far away from me. Nearly at a thousand feet here. Okay. Cross over getting lift here. Look at that. Lovely. I think I'm going to play Daredevil and go to this far hill. I want to be able to claim the golf course, so let's go over to the golf course. Okay, nice little bit of lift here, so I might turn in this. So let's go back. Not a lot. I might make it back, but I don't think I'm going to come in for a landing in the paddock. Let's not fly over the cows. Don't want to annoy them. Rough down here. Keep that speed up. Okay, I've just uh, landed after that flight. That was incredible. Launched at Lady Bay. Flew all the way to Rapid Bay, so past we're in a cove, second valley onto Rapid Bay, decided to turn back there, made it all the way back, and uh, flew out to the golf course and back as well. Um, I probably didn't have to land, but I decided to. I, it's a lot for one day. I need to sit down and kind of process it. I am shaking because um, of the adrenaline from it. it. Was a pretty pretty scary experience and a lot of fun. I'm I'm really happy though that uh, that I managed to achieve that. Uh, that's uh, that's a really big goal for me. So what a fantastic day. What a fantastic sport.